We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of Baseball on the Show. Coming up, we've got a good matchup in store between the Texas Rangers and the Tampa Bay Rays. Which of these two will prevail next on the show? Charlie Morton will be the starter for the Rays in this one. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Hey, this guy's had a solid year up to this point. It's not an easy thing to do in baseball this year with all the high-scoring games, but this guy has an ERA of sub-3, and that's saying something. If he continues to do that, I think you're going to see a really good performance out of him in this one. Settling in now, Elvis Andrews. Up tonight, He'll get us started in this one Here's under the lights. Elvis Andrews. In there at the knees, strike one. Dan Dero, we take a look at the Rays entering play here tonight. They come in looking to make it two in a row as they were winners last time out. Yeah, Matty, this place is buzzing right now. This team won the opener of the series yesterday, and they're looking to step on this team's throat and take the first two games of this series. That exactly. The third base number six, Matt Duffy. Now at the plate, Matt Duffy in prior outings against Charlie Morton. He's just one for six. In there for strike one, 0 oh and 1. And there is our officiating crew in this one, calling balls and strikes, Mr. Freddie Ferguson. You know, this is one of the guys behind the dish, Freddie Ferguson, Dan, that the rookies are going to have a tough time with. If you've played in the league for a little bit, you understand that he's got his own zone. I, you... The throw is wild, and it gets away. Batting third, the designated hitter, Willie Calhoun. And here's the former prize Dodger prospect, Willie Calhoun. One ball, no strikes to count. Lifted the other way down the left field line. And that will end up a foul ball. Count moves to a ball and two strikes now. Duffy, a runner at first with one gun in the inning. Another one sent foul. And he got him. Here's Joey Gallo now. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. Nope. Now a good pitch around the knees, but it doesn't that quite catch the bottom of the zone. 2-0 the count oh, to the Rangers' no left fielder. Good fastball down around the nope. knees there, taken for a strike. Counts even 2-2 two two to Joey Gallo. Hey, this pitcher better be careful right here. My man at the plate is not trying to push something to the opposite field. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. One left for Texas. Now it's the Rays' turn. No score. Kyle Gibson is on the mound for game two. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hey, you can tell by this strikeout to walk ratio, two to one, that this guy is more a pitch to contact guy than a strikeout walk guy. So striding in, Joey Wendell. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. For the Ray, the third baseman. Now here's the pitch. Wendell. Now that's ball. And, fellas, you take a look at this Rangers team entering play here tonight. It was another loss for them last time out, and that makes them 2-8 and eight over their last 10 games. Yeah, Matty, what I need to see out of this offense today is some early production. Somebody's got to get on, uh, on base and, and put the defense on their heels. They've been struggling recently. They're not swinging the bats well. They got shut out yesterday, and this offense needs to adjust itself. Pulls this one into the air out into right field. Chu giving chase, and he tracks it down. Nice play for the first down. Batting second. No left fielder. Magwell. 
Oh. So the base is empty here with one away. And that'll bring up the versatile center fielder, Manuel Margo. First pitch of the at bat. Bases are empty, one man out. Even one and one count to Margo. Starts to go around, but the home plate umpire says he held up ball two. Called strike on the sinker, two and two now. Now a half swing, but it's strike three anyway, says the home plate umpire, and that's out number two. That's just quality pitching right Ready there for that strikeout. As we look at all five pitches, notice the location, all five down in the zone. Some guys are real good low ball hitters, but more often than not, keeping the ball down is going to lead to a lot of success on the mound. Breaking ball below the zone, that's ball one. Looking to get on base and keep this first inning alive. The 1-0. Nope. That's inside. Hey. Hey. Strike two called, and it's even at two. Hard ground ball. Defense played him perfectly. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Nothing in the Tampa first. On to the second now from Tropicana. Still nothing, nothing. Into the box now, Danny Santana. He was hitless in the shutout last night. Danny Santana. First delivery to him on the way. Ball one as he lays off below the zone. Now a big fastball and he's well behind it with the swing. The one one home. Down the first baseline. But a foul ball one and two now. Now here's the pitch. Uh, trying to pick up that outside corner, but this misses, and it's back to even at two balls and two strikes. Grounder down the line at third, and this will stay inside the third base bag. A fair ball. And a good start to the inning for the Rangers. It's going to be a leadoff double. He just smoked this ball right down the line. Take a look here. Hard to tell if it was fair or foul in real time, but you can see it flies right over the bag. Ump was all over it and made a great call. Shinsu Chu at the plate now. No balls and a strike to count. A runner at second. Nobody out. A swing and a ground ball to third. Throw will be well late as he reaches it first. Here's Todd Frazier now. And a quick glance at the numbers will tell you it's been a huge struggle for him at the plate this year. Here comes the first pitch. This one's outside quite a bit off the plate that time. And he misses low with it, 2-0. and First and second here with nobody out. Fouled off. Sent foul again, and after being way ahead, now it's even at 2-2. Two and two. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. A line shot to third base. Quick throw, not in time. Batting it. The second baseman, Lugnad O'Doul. 
set to get his evening at the plate started. Rupnet Odor. And it's been a real struggle for him with the bat so far this year. Looking to get things turned around in a hurry. No balls in one strike. Oh, one count. Here's the pitch. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. Working for the punch out and the offering. No score here as we play inning number two. Pulled toward right center field. On the move is Kiermaier. He makes the catch, and the runner from second will tag and head for third. And he'll take those extra 90 feet, so put runners at the corners now with two gone in the inning. Stepping in, Jose Trevino. And he's hoping to get things going at the plate. It's been a bit of a struggle for him in recent games. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Curveball fooled him there as he's way out in front. Fastball's fouled off to the left, and he falls behind now 0-2. Runners at the corners, two men out. And another foul ball. And he comes back with a fastball. Strike three called, and the inning is over. Rangers leave a pair. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. At the plate, Brandon Lau. He did not play last night, but clearly back in the starting nine for this one. Number eight. First offering on its way. And that one right down Main Street. Sinker, one ball, one strike. And he looks at one in there, one and two. Look out, that one almost got away from him. Two and two now. Three and two now. To be honest with you, I'm a little bit more afraid of the guy on deck than the guy that's up right now. If I'm on the mound, I want this guy up right now. He's the guy that's got to beat me. And he takes ball four. Leadoff man's aboard here to begin the home half of the second. And I'm sure the manager is just fine with that. I mean, it's better to battle a slugger like that to the end and end up walking him than serving one up where he can really hurt you. G-Man Choi the next to hit. First chance for him here with a man on following the leadoff walk. From the stretch. Pitch to the plate is a sinker for a called strike one. That's in there, and he's deep in the hole now, 0-2. Gibson has become known as a guy that's tough to take deep. So many starting pitchers find themselves snake-bitten by the gopher ball, but he really limits that. On its way, the 0-2 pitch. And this one's in the dirt. And he'll rein it in as the count moves to one and two. Nobody out, runner on first. To two balls and two strikes now. Full count, three balls and two strikes to the Rays' DH. Wow, from 0-2 to 3-2 and in that last pitch on 2-2 two two wasn't even close. He had this guy in the ropes, but now he let him right back into this at bat. And he lays off there, ball four. So back-to-back -back walks have him in business here with nobody out. We knew coming into this game that this guy has a tendency to give up a lot of free passes. And history repeats itself as he's already given up two walks here. 
I'll tell you, effectively wild is a pretty tough thing to be. Standing in, Willie Adamas. And he's looking to snap out of what's been a rather dry spell at the plate. He's set. Here it comes. This is where, as a hitter, you need to slow your thinking. You know he's trying to get you a double play ball right here. You have to control the strike zone. Checks his swing, but this will be strike two call. None out. Runners at first and second. Hit out towards second. Andrus on to first, and they get them both. When a glove toss is executed successfully, it's a thing of beauty. When it fails, boy, does it look ugly. Here we get to see a great example of it to begin a double play. Quick and accurate with the flip, and they get the two outs. Now with the plate, Yandy Diaz. Runner in scoring position with Sugan. Here comes the first pitch. Here's a moment where you got to be a great teammate. Pick your buddy up who just grounded into a double play. I don't care what it looks like. Single, gaffer, homer. Just get that guy in from third and get your team back motivated again. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. Tried to get him to go after one below the knees, but it's one and two. And a good take there. Close, but it's two and two. Two outs here with a runner at third. Slider whiffed on for strike three. A great pitch to put an end to the inning. A couple of walks, but no damage. We're back with more on this Saturday night after this. Back now at Tropicana Field, home of the Rays, who have benefited from some solid pitching all season long. In terms of ERA and whip, they rank among the best pitching staffs in the league, leading some of the position players I talked with to sing their praises, while also emphasizing how happy they are to play behind them on defense instead of facing them in the batter's box. One of them told me, our guys are awesome on the mound. They keep us in every game, and they really work hard as a group to push each other to get better all the time. I really appreciate what they bring to this team. It sounds like a group that has earned a lot of respect around the league and from inside their own clubhouse. All right, Heidi, thank you. Fouled away. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0-2. Takes this the other way to right, and a base hit, so the leadoff man is on to begin the inning. Hey, after that hit right there, Dero, that extends his hitting streak to six games. Yeah, no doubt about it. Six days in a row with Knox will help you sleep better at night, Dan. Into the box, Matt Duffy, as he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. Duffy, often known as the Duff Man in baseball circles, he was taken in the 18th round during the first-year player draft of 2012. I know this guy wouldn't go into the category of superstar, but to grind out the career he has being drafted where he was, my hat's off to him. Really, how At the plate now, Willie Calhoun, as he'll watch a first pitch curveball drop in there for strike one. And he is cruising now. It's 0 and 2. After two great pitches, he has a lot of options right now. He could bounce something or go elevated fastball. So this is pulled in by the shortstop. Now back. The left field. So runners at first and second here with one away. And up to bat next, the left-handed light tower power of Joey Gallo. In there, 0-1. And this one's downstairs. It's a ball and a strike. Now the one and one pitch.
On the ground is short. This could be two. One there. Relay to first in time. And just like that, this side is retired. Rangers leave one. Home half of the third coming up. No score. So here's Mike Zanino. He's back in the and starting lineup for this one after sitting out last Again. night's game. Mike Zanino. First delivery to him on the way. Ball left up front. Now the 1-0. Oh. I'd be real surprised if he goes back out away there on the mound. This is a count for a fastball challenge, and we'll see if he's ready for it in the box. Hey. Now a sinker falls in there for a called strike, two and one. Three and one. You do not want to walk the eight-hole hitter. It just opens up so many options. Do we bunt them over to second with the nine-hole hitter? Do we try and play for that big rally with the top of the order coming up? This is a huge pitch. You can't allow this guy to walk. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Left fielder is on the move. He makes the catch. A great effort to get there and record the first out of the inning. And with that, let's take a moment to show you what's happening in the American League's Western Division. So striding forward now, Kevin Kiermeyer, And he really thrives in the batter's box here at home. Something to keep an eye on in this one. First pitch coming. Here it is. Hey. Now here it comes. Hey. Yeah, this is straight survival mode. Down 0-2, the numbers are definitely not with the batter here. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. Swing and a liner. And the Rays are in the hit column. Boy, so frustrating as a pitcher. You make a quality pitch on the inside half of the plate right there. Try to bust him in, D-Row, and he fights it off the other way. Yeah, you tip your hat to the pitcher right there. He executed his pitch, but nice job by the offensive player. Fighting. It doesn't matter what it looks like. A knock's a knock. Now a move over to first. Runners back. And that'll bring up Joey Wendell. Reined in to second for one. On to first. And for the second time in three innings, they've bounced into a double play. And with this one, the side is retired. Around the horn they go. Five to four to three to end the threat. More from the show. Saturday baseball follow. Coming to the plate now, Danny Santana. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. Yeah, he did a great job to go down and get that one his last at bat. But I got to think they're going to pitch him up, maybe elevate something in the zone. Interested to see how he approaches this next AB. And it's fouled away. And he fouls this one off. Bouncer to the left side, scooped up. And the throw on the first will take care of him. So he's thrown out by the only man standing on the left side of the infield. One away. And while we have a moment, here's a look at the Rays' road to the show report. Two guys there that this organization has to be happy about right now. To the plate now, Shin Su Chu. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. Man, this guy's been incredibly efficient so far in this one, mostly because he's getting ahead. 70% of the batters he's faced, he's thrown a first pitch strike to. Behind 0 and 2 now.
fouled off. Pitching has the upper hand early as we're scoreless in inning number four. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Heading after it is Margot. He gets there and makes the play for the second out of the inning. The first base at the plate, Todd Frazier. Todd Frazier. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Lifted in the air out to right. Meadows moving back. He's there to make the play, and that'll retire the side. One, two, three, go the Rangers. On to the bottom of the fourth now, still with no score. And that'll bring up Manuel Marco. He's 0 for 1 thus far. This game is rolling right along as we move into the middle innings with no score. You'd think by now one of these two teams would be able to get some base runners on and get him in, but that hasn't been the case. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Called strike 0 and 2. Hey, he's got great feel for that pitch right there. He can throw it anytime he wants for a strike. Protecting on 0 and 2, so we'll do it again. <laughs> Trying to send him packing for the second time. Oh, that's good. Cool. That's a classic piece of pitching right there. You have to back hitters away from the plate to make them a little bit uncomfortable. Now you can go inside or outside. I like that purpose pitch. Fouled away. Now another 2-2. Two -two. Started to go. Did he hold up in time? Yes, says the first base umpire. It's ball three now. 3-2 three pitch. Is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. Classic slider down and away for the strike out there. Not a whole lot to say about that pitch that hasn't been said a million times already. That's just a real tough pitch for a hitter to pick up out of a pitcher's hand. So they end up chasing when they're in protect mode. So now to the plate, Austin Meadows. As he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. And he falls behind 0 and 2. Started the breaking ball far too inside that time. Laid off for ball 1. Misses ball 2. I know he buried that slider in right there, but that's a dangerous pitch. If he doesn't pot commit and bury that inside, it leaks out over the plate. He can get hurt with that pitch. Another 2-2 offering. Trying to nibble here, and he misses to run it full now. 3-2. and two. One thing to take note of is how these last two batters have really driven up his pitch count. He's had to use 14 pitches already on them, and he's not even through this guy yet. 14 is near the top end of what you want to throw in a complete inning. Now batting, number eight. Standing in now, Brendan Lau, as he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0-1. Comes into play here at 273. 13 home runs, 26 RBIs. Comes set and the 0 1. Nope, that's the ball. Got one ball. No runs, two hits, and no errors for Tampa Bay so far. And did he go around? No, he did not. Ball two. The 2 1 home. Inside, ball one. Team's been struggling on offense. Let your D work for you right here. Pound the zone. Ball 
Oh, not fooled there as this ball's hammered out to deep right field. A leap, but this is out of reach and off the wall. And they'll have runners at second and third following the one-out double. As we take a look at this one, you can see he puts a good swing on it, but I don't think he got her just enough to put some backspin to get it out of here, but hard to complain about a well-hit double, though. And it looks as though the decision makers in the dugout will give him a free pass to first, so the bases are loaded here on the intentional walk, and the force play is now in order. Ready for another chance? Willie Adamas. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Hey, now he's got me confused up here. This is a known sinker baller out on the mound trying to roll a double play, and he throws him a four-seamer. And one and one as this one's in on the hands. As a look, now the pitch. Good fastball as he gets the swing and a miss. Great job by the pitcher right there, changing eye levels. We all know he's a sinker ball pitcher, but if he could throw some four seamers up in the zone like that, it could work for him. The one two. Hard on the ground towards short. There's one. Relay to first in time. And just like that, the side is retired. Just what the doctor ordered. He gets the double play to get him out of the inning. Back with more on this fine Saturday night following this. We're back at Tropicana Field, and let's check in with Heidi Watney. Matt, I talked with the Rangers manager during the inning break about the team's offensive production to this point. And he really emphasized that they're not doing a very good job capitalizing on run scoring opportunities. They've had their opportunities with runners in scoring position, but still have zero hits to show for it in those situations. He said repeatedly not coming through with the big hit can wear on you as a team, but in this sport, you have to dwell on the positives. He's confident they'll find a way to break through sooner or later. Thank you, Heidi. Oh, cool. He's ready. Here's the first offering. The wind up and the 0 1. Swing and a miss as he couldn't connect on the two seamer, and that's out number one. Well, he certainly wasn't intimidated on the mound right there. He had to stare down a really good hitter, and instead of working around the zone, he challenged him with three straight good pitches. I like that he didn't give his opponent too much credit. Stepping in now, Jose Trevino. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And that nearly broke our scoreless tie. Instead, it's a foul ball. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. On its way, the 0-1 pitch. Swung on and missed. That's that strike two. Can you boys say next? Who's next up to back? Because this guy's done. You cannot fall down 0-2 to one of the better pitchers in the league and expect to get a base hit. Looking to punch him out again, the pitch. And a fastball swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. That was a good job tying him up inside on that strikeout pitch. It wasn't even in the strike zone, but with the hitter protecting with two strikes, that's the kind of pitch you can get him to offer at, and he's probably not going to do much with it when he does make contact. Here's Elvis Andrus now, as he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. He's one for two in this one. And there's ball one. No runs, four hits, and no errors in the contest for the Rangers so far. Down the left field line and deep. And that will end up a foul ball. And he swings on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. The one, two.
And just a masterful job of pitching here as he strikes out the side in order. Rangers set down in order. Halfway home, still no score. Welcome back for the bottom of the fifth. Here's Heidi Watney. Matt, race manager Kevin Cash talked to me in between innings about his lineup's offensive production. And flat out, he was very pleased with the quality of their at-bats. They've already worked out three walks, so he feels as though that kind of willingness to let the opposition work themselves into trouble will continue to result in good things for them on the scoreboard. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. Set now for the bottom of the fifth. And Stepping into the, the box, race. Yandy Diaz. He base was base. a strikeout victim Yandy. in his first try. Yeah, he's got to put that one behind him, especially with runners in scoring oh, position. Those punch outs will stick with you a little longer. Some movement now in that Texas bullpen as a left-hander starts to get cranking down there. And this one's too far inside, ball two. You can see this guy's more focused at the plate right now. In that first A.B., he went down on strikes. Now the 2-0 home. And, oh, he can't get out of the way of that one, so the leadoff man will be on to open the frame. Anytime you're battling the scores even, you've got to get on base to manufacture some offense. He'll take that every day of the week. So stepping in, Mike Zanino. He flew out in his last at-bat. Pitch on its way now to Zanino. Turned on, but that's ripped foul down the third baseline. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. Lays off the sinker here, a ball and a strike. A runner at first with no outs here. Pitch taken several inches below the zone, in fact. That's where he wants that sinker to end up. But that was a nice job of laying off. Offers it that one a little late, and it's two and two now. Swung underneath that pitch, so he was either trying to elevate the ball or he was expecting a pitch to be a sinker and drop more than it did. Here's the pitch on two and two. And a sinking fastball called strike three, and that's out number one. Well, I'm glad we get another look at that beauty of a pitch right there. You can't spot a sinker in a better location because even if you do get the bat on the ball, there's not a whole lot you can do with that. Textbook sinker. Standing in, Kevin Kiermeyer. As he'll take a look at a pitch too low, it's ball one. A base hit in his first trip. The set and the 1-0 pitch. High in the air out to center field. Center fielder on the run. He gets there, and that's the second out. Ready once again, Joey Wendell. He started out the evening 0 for 2 so far. Gibson comes set. First pitch on the way. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. Looked like the sinker there dipped a little below the knees. Line drive. That's a base hit into the right center field gap. Diaz isn't stopping. Here he comes to the plate. The tag, and he is out at the plate. And so much for our first run of the ball game. So no runs here on a base hit, no errors, and one man left aboard. Five innings complete, and we... Digging in and looking for more, Matt Duffy. He starts off the inning against a guy who struck out the side last inning. How did they get to him here? I'm not sure, Matt, that they want to stay as patient. He's been throwing a lot of strikes. They might want to start swinging a little bit earlier in the count. Here's the first pitch to him. And this pitch is taken on the inner oh, half for strike one. Hit in the air to straightaway center. Kiermeyer's got a read on it. One down.
the batter. Now at the plate, Willie Calhoun. A strikeout and a lineout for him so far. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. And that nearly broke our tie, but instead it's a foul ball. And a fastball way off target here, and it's even at one. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. On the move is Kiermaier. But the left fielder calls him off and makes the catch. And that's the second out of the inning. So that brings up the big bat of Joey Gallo. Two away in the inning, and Dan, it looks like this could be another one, two, three inning for him. Yeah, he has really found a groove on the mound, and it's been impressive to watch. It'll be interesting to see how long he can keep this dominance up. Man, this guy's had their number all game long. Up, down, in and out. He's pitching very well. Now a fastball for a called strike. It's one and one. Nice adjustment out on the mound. Overthrew the first one a little bit, but got on top and let that ball rip right out in front of him. Can't keep the weight back, and he falls behind one and two. Now here's the pitch. And it's fouled away. Hits are now even at four apiece. And that one misses badly. It's ball two. Hits it high and deep out to center field. Back goes Kiermeyer to the track. And a long run, but he's there to track it down. Nice range, and the side is retired. One, two, three, go the Rangers. Still no score. Bottom of the sixth inning now. Ready for another shot now. Manuel Margo. He was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap to the guy on the mound. He's getting paid to try and get you out as well. Anytime it gets up there north of seven, eight pitch ABs, sometimes it just comes down to pure execution. Let's see if he makes the adjustment right here. Good breaking ball there. Laid off for the second strike. His command has been outstanding so far, hitting nearly all of his spots, and that's been a big factor why he's been so successful up to this point. And on 0-2, he misses with a fastball. If I'm in the box, you take a step out right here, take a deep breath after that high fastball, you've got to be leery of him burying something in the dirt. Struck him out. Struck him out again, I should say. His third punch out of the game. It's been a rough Go night back. at the yard for him. That's Go three right times here. he's gone down on strikes okay. in this one. So they've Go really on. figured out how to attack this guy. Into the box now, Austin Meadows. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. A hit and two tries for him so far. Now the 1-0 is offered at and missed for the first strike. He hasn't thrown that pitch much all game. I got to believe as an offense, you just got to throw that pitch away and move on to the next one. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Hit sharply on the ground. And that gets through for a one-out base hit. Hey, not an easy thing to do right there, Debra, with that stacked no, infield on the no, right no, side. No. To hit it through where the shift is, have to hit that in the right place at the right time. Yeah, he found a good result right there, Dan. Pitcher actually executed right there. Got him to hit it where he wanted to. Put good barrel, good contact on that ball, was able to find the hole. At the plate now, Brandon swings and grounds it to short. And Andrus will not be able to get there. It's a base hit. I think the whole ballpark knew he was going to go with the sinker right there to induce the double play. The only problem is, is he can't guarantee it's going to be hit right at one of his infielders. Tough luck. Into the box, G-Man Choi. As he'll look at a changeup that drops below the knees for ball one. He'll enter play right at 310 on the year. Five homers and 17 RBIs. Checks his swing here, but he does so in time. 
Great chance right here as a hitter to be really aggressive. With two guys already on, pretty good shot. He's going to get a challenge pitch right here. Oh, and he can't come up with it. The throw to third. And they'll get the man at third here at least, but in the interim, a run has come in to score. And he'll try to get back now, but it's not going to work. The throw hangs him out to dry, and that'll end the inning. Seventh inning coming up. Coming to the plate now, Danny Santana. And guys, seventh inning already. Hey, I'm not complaining, but this one's been flying by. Yeah, I'll agree with that, Matt. That's what you get when both starting pitchers have it working. Neither of them have been nibbling around the strike zone at all, and they've trusted their defense to make the plays, and they've done just that. Yeah, and it's resulted in a game that could really go either way in these late innings. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. And the throw won't be in time as he'll be able to beat out the recovery throw at first. Now batting. Right hey, that's two. a heck of an approach two, right two, there. Lead-off single in the late innings. Team's down a little bit. Let's see if this ends up being a huge turning point in this one. At the plate, Shin Su Chu. And it's belted high and deep into right center. Gone! A two-run shot that gives them the lead. So it's a two-run shot to right center. Home run number five on the year. And the Rangers move ahead. It's now two to one. What a great feeling right there as he circles the pillows. Finally able to get this offense potentially going with one swing of the bat. Being shut out all game, but not anymore. And now Todd Frazier as the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. And it's quickly 0 and 2. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Bases are empty here. Nobody out. And he fouls this one off. Now the fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. Here's Rognit Odor now. Over two for him to this point. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. You see there, the pitch count is up to 88. And at this point in the game, that's a good place to be. So I think we'll see him stay out there for at least a little while longer. Nope. And low, it's a ball and a strike. Still only one out in the inning. Skied into straightaway right. Meadows is there, two down. The batter. The Up catcher. next for the Rangers, Jose Trevino. He's Trevino. 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. First pitch of the at bat. High and deep down the left field line. And this will wind up a foul ball. Hit to short. Adamas picks it up. And the throw to first is in time, but the damage has been done as the side is retired. But two here in the Rangers half of the inning, and they come on this two-run home run. Get up and stretch. It's now 2-1 to one, Texas. Cody Allen will come out and take the ball here as he'll be making his 15th appearance of the year. Cody Allen. Last half of the seventh here. Now at the plate, and Willie Adamas. He was a not your job. Willie Adamas. Here's the first pitch to him. Ah. 
Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. Your idea of working the count goes out the window. You're frustrated right now. Down 0 2. Got to find a way to grind. Here's the pitch. Oh. Talk about frustrating as a pitcher. You make a great pitch like that, the guy just lays off of it. That barely missed the zone. Fly ball out toward left center field. Center fielder giving chase, but he won't get to it, and this should put a man in scoring position to start the inning. And they're not going to get him at third. He's in there with nobody out as the potential tying run. I think most guys are probably content with a double in that situation. Leading off the inning and representing the tying run, but he was thinking three bags all the way. Now all they need is some good situational hitting to drive him home. And that will bring in Yandy Diaz as the sinker to him finds the zone for strike one. Last time up, he was hit by a pitch. Popped him up. Duffy waits on it. And he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. Here now is Mike Zanino as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. First delivery to him on the way. A ball of no strikes. Allen, the former Angel, he signed as a free agent with this organization earlier in the season. Yeah, he didn't have an opportunity to really get acclimated to this ball club. Showing up during the season is not always easy, opening the doors to a big league clubhouse and trying to get to know your teammates. The best way to get to know them is to go out and produce. Now the 2-0. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side, but this is back into the seats of foul ball. Ready to deal, here's the 2-1. And he turns this one around high and deep to center field. Center fielder looking up. And they take the lead. It's gone. Two-run shot to straightaway center. Home run number five on the year. And that pushes the Rays out on top here. Three to two. Hey, in today's game of extreme velocity, if you have mediocre stuff, you cannot miss over the heart of the plate. You have to nibble at the corners. He wasn't able to do that, and he paid the ultimate price. So they'll make a matchup move here and bring on a southpaw to face the left-handed hitter due up. So here's Kevin Kiermeyer. One. One for two in the ball game thus far. And it's a called strike to even the count at one. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. Line drive, base hit into the left center field gap. Around first, digging for two. Around second now, and this ball still hasn't been fielded. And he will make it all the way to third now as that mistake proves a costly one oh, indeed. Great job the hitting there, and maybe a better job of hustling around the bases. Gotta like that, and I'm told that's his fifth triple so far on the season. Joey Wendell digs in now as the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball 1 and 0. Now a swing and a miss at a slider for a strike. 
The offensive approach here is simple. You know the pitcher's going for the K, so set your sights middle of the plate. And then don't worry about the infielders. They're so close, hard contact is a guaranteed ribbon. In time to first, and there are two away. Now batting, well batting, Manuel Margo. It's been a rough go of things at the plate for him so far, but his guys are looking for him to change that right here. Yeah, nothing better than coming through for the boys in a tight game, Matt, especially when you're kind of due to do something productive. Looking to keep this a one-run game, the pitch. Andrus fields it cleanly. Throw on to first, and an important pitch there as they get out of the inning before things explode. Rays get a couple as you take another look at the two-run home run. We'll march on to the eighth. It's now 3-2 to two, Tampa. Brendan McKay has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 49, Brendan McKay. Ready to begin the eighth. Stepping up now, Elvis Andrews. He got called out on strikes his last time through. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. One Lofted in the air out toward right center. Meadows has the best view of this one, so he'll take it for the first out. The third so his day is fully over yeah. as you get a look at the pitching line for the Rays starter. He was great all night long. One of the big keys to having a good pitching performance is not being afraid to throw the ball into the strike zone. And this guy certainly wasn't in this one. Didn't allow a walk all game long. One ball, no strikes to count. This one, everything we could have hoped for. Three to two in right. inning number eight. And a strike to even the count. One and one. Weekly hit to third. He's got it. Throw gets him. Two down. Now in the box, Willie Calhoun. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Outfield shaded toward right center. Here's the first pitch. Bouncer to the left side. Reined in. Throw in time, and the side is retired. Nothing across here this half of the inning. Home half of the eighth straight ahead. It's the Rays three and the Rangers two. Nick Goody was on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 41, Nick Goody. Bottom of inning number eight set to go. Up next for the Rays. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. The 0 and 1 delivery. And they go right after him here as he swings and misses. Strike two. So back-to-back -back sliders for strikes. Does he come back with yet another? Hey, not normally a good plan to throw three consecutive sliders in a row. This guy's slider is so good, I think he might throw it again. And he misses there. One and two. Pitch on the way. That's Bolton. He started this guy backwards. A couple of off-speed pitches early, followed by back-to-back -back heaters. He can go either way he wants to go right now. Here now the 2-2. is laid off, and the count runs full. From 0-2 to 3-2, what a great at-bat to start this inning off. Hey, this could be a productive inning. 
And a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. People always talk about how important getting the leadoff now men on base is, and, and it's eight. true. So in the eighth inning of a one-run game, that's a really nice job of attacking a hitter and sending him packing. So now to the plate, Brandon Lau, as he will take a fastball in there at the knees for strike one. Two hits and two trips for him thus far. A little quick on that swing, and he finds himself behind 0-2. One out, nobody on. Oh, and you can tell he wanted to hold off, but he swings through the inside pitch anyway, and he becomes out number two. That was a nasty-looking slider that time. Yeah, that was really well executed, Matt. The classic strikeout pitch. You think it's fastball middle in, then it starts bearing in on your back leg, and unless you hit it out front, there's nothing much you can do with that. Standing in now, G-Man Choi. Santana is in his tracks now, and that will retire the side. Down in order go the Rays. They're up three to two. Your Nick Anderson please. comes out of the bullpen now to shut the things the down here in the ninth. Number 70, Nick Anderson. So here's the cleanup hitter, Joey Gallo. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Ninth inning underway now as the first pitch is taken for a cold strike. A great job pounding the zone strike one. When you've got a great hitter in the box, you got to get ahead. Count leverage is a must. Well hit. Deep down the right field line. And a big sigh of relief on the mound as that nearly tied it, but this ball is foul. Again, another foul ball. The next 0-2. He is swung on and missed. He got him. So the leadoff man gone to start the top of the ninth as we take a look at league saves leaders entering play. And as you can see there, he currently sits third in the AL in that category. Digging in to try it again. Danny Santana. So far, two for three in this one. First pitch coming. Here it is. One run game here in the top of the ninth. Curveball. Swing and a miss, and he's behind in the count 0 and 2. He's having a great day at the dish. His timing is spot on. His pitching staff's going to have to find a different way of attacking him. And there's your tying run at second base with a one out double. Now that's the bat they needed. Base is empty, one out, down one in the ninth. He's got to find a way any way to get on base and he does more than that getting at the scoring position here we've got a great finish on our hands guys they'll go to work on getting that tying run home from second oh one here's the pitch that one's down around the knees taken for a strike runner at second here with one man out and that's into the corner a foul ball in right he was looking for a swing and a miss breaker right there but left that one in the zone that got fouled off Scooped up. Another 0-2 coming. Got him swinging. Chased it well out of the zone, and there are two gone. Pretty textbook pitching right there. Jump ahead and account 0-2, and then start working outside the zone. Easier said than done, but that's the way to do it. Into the box now, Todd Frazier. And she'll take a look at a strike right down the middle. It's 0-1. We could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. Good pitch as this is swung on and missed. And now they're down to perhaps their You're final watch strike the of the evening. Tonight, John John. I know that feeling. Played 14 years in the big leagues and still can't hit a slider. Not the largest crowd ever, but they're on their feet. Into the corner and slicing foul. Probably. Texas down to their final strike in this one. Struck him out, so he'll strand the possible tying run at second, and a great job of working out of trouble as this ball game is over. It's always nice to give your fans at home something to cheer about, and they definitely did that right here, coming through with a big win at home. Three to two, the finish in tonight's game. Tampa Bay jumped ahead in the seventh inning and never gave the lead back. 
Charlie Morton earns win number four on the season. Nick Anderson wraps it up for the save, his 14th. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. The final line score for our ball game tonight for the victorious.